My name is Laura Feezy and I teach at Peak Elementary. Every lesson that I do, I try to hit as many learning styles as possible because everyone learns a different way. I've got learners that are auditory and I have learners that, you know, are visual and I have learners that are kinesthetic and I have learners that are more musically inclined. Today I started with a song, then we went from that to, you know, a little video, then the hands-on, the actual experiment. And the whole time, though, has to connect not only with the lesson that I'm teaching, but it has to connect with the lesson that we had last week. And it needs to connect with the lesson we're going to have tomorrow. So I try my best to make sure to not only connect with all of the different learning styles, but at the same time to make that knowledge deeper. Now, if I came out here with chemicals, calcium chloride, and I mixed it with something and yeah that's all good they would see a neat little bubbling but to use household items things that they can connect with if you can make real world connections with everyday items and everyday things then that just it taps into their prior knowledge that they already have and they can use what they know to figure out the things they don't know and so you want to build that ability in them as well I have to think not only this grade level what are they going to be learning next year how about a, the year after that? So whether it be math or science, either way, I need to know where they're going, where they're headed, and where they've been so that I can make those connections. Studies have shown that whenever you teach someone else something, it becomes your knowledge. And so if I can get them to talk to each other and teach each other, then they own that themselves. And that's, that's the goal. I hope, if nothing else, I hope that they develop those critical thinking skills. Those, that ability to, to take a problem apart and dissect it and figure it out.